Hi everybody! In this video I decided to get back the basics and make a new block bow from Rust. For this purpose I'll need a printed pattern and 3D model of the bow. I choose this size not without purpose. The main condition was to make the handle under the size of my hand and that an row could freely pass from above. I'll make the handle from a slab of 5 mm, which I cut out from a channel bar. I transferred the size with a ruler and pencil and cut out with a grinding machine. It was impossible to bend such thick slab without any special tool and I decided to make it this way. I made some cuts in the places of bend and bend the detail according to them. After the bending I welded the saw cuts through. Next detail I cut out from the pattern and outlined it on a wooden bar 40 mm thick. I cut out the detail with a fret saw. After that I get the details its final form on the belt grinder. I drilled a hole in the handle to fast some wooden details to it. In order they weren't shifted actually during the bow strip tension it was necessary to make a spike groove in the wooden and to weld a couple of metal strips on the handle. Fixation would be produced by pins of 14 mm. In order to make exact grooves under the handle, I at first pressed the slab to the wood. Got the print with the help of which I also made grooves with a renovator or as it is called an electric chisel. The joint of the details turned out to be firm and as I think will sustain the weight. Further I started producing the straps which would hold the bow's arms. I made them from a slab from 50 mm. I sawed off two details from a strip then cut out a window in each of them. I welded everything together and I tried them on the handle. The bow's arms will be made from a spring as the steel in it is perfectly suitable for such things. I sawed off a piece from the spring and I cut it along in two parts between which there would be a block on the end. I combined the strap together with the arm and I drilled two holes in them. I think if to make one fastener hole as in the original, the vibration will pull out the arm from wood during the shooting. For fastening I would use sanitary pins. I drilled two holes for them in the wood.
I inserted an aluminum plug it into the block for the best sliding of the block on the axis. The plug should be a little wider than the block so the arms couldn't clap it during the pin tire. On the end of the pin there would be metal cap screws to which the bow string would be bound. I prepared these details on the lay too. They would be fastened on a pin through a wooden spacer. Before pulling the string we need to make a hand protection with the sight on it. I also would drill the guides for an arrow we need. The protection would be made from a pretty thick strip. I also cut it from a side part of a channel bar. I use welding to bend the strip. I worm the place of bend with an electrode. After the bend I ground off all welding fusing. Then I drilled holes for an arrow in the detail. It'd be also good to make a rack for an arrow. I welded the protection to the handle. The side I made from a pipe of cut and a target designator from a half of a nail. As a bowstring I'd use a green cord. In order the knots didn't become untied I stuck them together with a super glue. All this stage the block bow from Rust is ready. Now we have to make some tests to see how this ball shoots in real life. It shoots well, but its large weight hinders the shooting. Not everyone could hold it in an out strange hand. That's all for today. Thanks everyone for watching. Subscribe on the channel and give your thumbs up.